All right, all right. Welcome back to another episode of G-Man Fishing. Today we're fishing on the Deschutes. I was going to do some fly fishing, but it's a little bit too windy for my likings to be throwing fly rods. So we're going to be uh, throwing the Corrado DC um, with a couple of flies on there. Uh, maybe catch some whitefish, some trout, or maybe even an accidental steelhead because steelhead season is closed this year on the Deschutes. At least where I'm fishing anyways. Uh, so we're just going to try and catch some fish here and make a video. There we go. There we go. There's a the fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, it come off, too. No. Well, there you go. Let's go. Already got one bite. The important thing about fishing the river, okay, I, I'm not good at drawing graphs. I don't have the state-of-the-art computer for making graphs. But uh, you want to start out fishing in close. And then you want to move further out, further out, further out, and work the whole river, not just the inside, not just way out there, because the fish are all throughout the river. And so you're just trying to find them by doing short cast, medium cast, so on and so on and so on until you work the whole stretch and then you move down to the next spot or move up to the next spot, whatever be the case. So I'm going to try and do a video where uh, it's just nothing but fishing, no cutting, um, no um, breaks in between, um, just so you guys will see what I'm doing here. Um, and maybe we'll catch some fish for you. Maybe we won't, but you never know. So we got a slinky, which I make myself. Uh, an egg pattern. Uh, Prince Nymph. Uh, eight pound fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon is what I've got. And then I've got the eight pound P-line uh, mono for my main line. And so we're just uh, doing some uh, fishing here, trying to make a video for you guys. Uh, the weekends, um, I got things going on, so I'm not going to be able to uh, shoot a video Saturday uh, fishing, but there may be a chance of uh, maybe getting a deer video put out for you guys. So this week I've already got two videos lined up to come out, so this will be next week because uh, I'm not fishing this weekend, so, and today is October 25th, so, one day before uh, Worm and Bobber Girl's birthday, she'll be 19th on the 26th, which will be, you know, this video will be out after the night, or 29th, or 27th, 26th, yeah, so, and so basically what we're doing is we're just throwing it out there, Bounce along the bottom, bounce along the bottom, looking for any fish that's uh, willing to eat what we're throwing. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video, enjoy the content, um, and uh, we'll catch some fish for you guys. I don't know. Uh, I've already landed one fish, and you guys seen me miss the second fish. So, maybe we'll... Uh, catch a few fish here on camera cast to catch which would be nice for you guys because you guys like that kind of stuff and so we're just dragging it dragging it dragging it you can see my rod to bounce 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 because I'm bouncing on the bottom so you're gonna see a lot of rod tip bouncing and a lot of times it'll just be the bottom. And the reason why I'm using a slinky is because they seem to be less, they get snagged up less, it seems like. Now I'm not saying that's not true, that that's uh, not true, but it seems like they, they don't get snagged up nearly as much as uh, lead does. So that's why I, when I'm fishing this way on the river, I use uh, slinkies because they seem to not. Uh, get so uh, snagged up. And so I fished this spot pretty good. I'll, I'm gonna do one more cast. 
So basically what I'm doing is letting it drift into the bank. And then once it gets into the bank, then I reel it in and I re-throw it out there. So. And then I'll throw it out there, let it bounce, 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 all the way until it hits the bank again, and then I will reel it in. So. Or unless I get a fish on, then I'll reel it in then. You know these uh, videos where you just constantly talk, 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 talk. It's hard to keep talking. You know, it's it truly is hard to keep talking. Uh, because you run out of things to say. So it, it can be very, very hard to uh, talk for a long period of time when you're recording. So... We're just drifting, 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 looking for a fish to eat our flies. Uh, the wind, if you can see all the bushes and stuff, it's pretty windy down here today. So, that's why I elected not to take out the fly rod, which, what I, which is what I was planning on doing today. Because I love to fly fish. It's, uh, one of my new one of the ways I like to fish the most and uh, before this video comes out there will have already been a uh, fly fishing video off my kayak on Lake Santuscus so um, that'll be before this video so now that we've drifted into the bank no bite we're gonna reel it in and then we're going to move to the next spot, which is just down river a little bit. And uh, start, you know, showing you how we, we, we do it. So. so, when I get to a spot, especially when I'm trying to find fish, I start out by throwing out there just a little ways. And I might throw there three, four times before I start throwing further out there uh, in the river just because I'm trying to see if there's any fish there and sometimes you know you throw out there one cast and no fish he may not have seen it that first cast so go ahead and throw a couple more times in there and then maybe you'll pull out a fish maybe you won't but you never know until you try so it's uh, important to uh, definitely fish the whole river so and that was my first cast in this spot so that's one cast no fish has drifted pretty much into the bank So the rig I am using is technically a whitefish trout steelhead kind of rig. I have seen people catch uh, salmon doing this too. I haven't done it, but I've gotten a lot of trout and steelhead and whitefish doing this. But most people doing it like this is fishing for whitefish. Me, I'm fishing for usually steelhead this time of year, but like I keep saying and reiterating, the steelhead season has been canceled unless they've changed their mind. And I haven't went and checked the ODFW yet to find out. <laughs> so, kind of one of those things where they say one thing, I just kind of go with it. And then if somebody tells me different, then I'll uh, go and uh, try it out or go look at it and find out. So, and then we'll reel in, and then we'll re throw out, and then we'll, we'll do it again, and then we will uh, throw it further out there. Still be a little stoppage in the video, but it wouldn't really make much of a stoppage.
There we go, there we go, there's another fish. All right, all right, there's the fish. There's a fish. <laughs> He's an excited one too. So we're, this is our third one of the day if we can land him. Hopefully this is the second one on camera though. With the way the camera's been axed, and it could be a problem. Could be a little problem. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. What we got. I'm sure it's just a white fish. But I ain't gonna complain now. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Oh yeah. Another white fish. Yes, sir. And it took the Prince Nymph again. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. Still recording. Making sure. All right. Let's take this guy off. Give you guys a good look at him. And send him on his way. Yeah, hold still, bud. Hold still. Hold still, bud. Got that red hook, that red fly in too. There we go. There you guys go, another beautiful white fish. Mm -hmm. There you guys go. All right, that one I know I got on camera for sure. All right. 